Let me start the usual disclosure by apologizing for the fan in the background, but, you know, it's summer and it's still like 80, 90-ish degrees outside, so that'll be happening for another couple weeks, so another couple dozen videos for you guys. I think this looks something enough. So, anyway, let's get into things. Well, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have a matchup for you! God damn it. Well, okay, I'm not really gonna complain about there being black bars around the corner of the video because that's how it looks on my TV, so I can't really bitch much. Anyway, we have Triple H calling out help from somebody else to take on the Icon Sting. Who? Who will be replacing the game? Wait a minute! Is that who I think it is? It is! The Big Red Monster! The Big Red Machine! Kind! Coming in to compete against Sting in a one on one contest! I should make this just a little bit bigger! Okay, apparently I won't go too much bigger overlap the symbol here in the corner, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we have now the icon. This is the monster. One on one here tonight. The other match was a main event worthy matchup, but this is definitely high gear, high octane. The biggest kind of match you could see on a normal show. Two former World Heavyweight Champions fighting it out. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Time to throw down the gauntlet. Sting with the sidewalk slam to King. King taking a beating in the beginning, but... Receiving one of his own is Sting! Atomic drop! Right on the button! And a second one! To knock the big man over! Who has already gotten back to his feet and been dropped down with a German suplex! And now, a back suplex from King! Oh, one more! Uh, to the side is Sting! No! Headbutt after he has been boxed into a DDT! Sting then is able to rest, able to relax here in this moment! All of it dropped! Down by King! And I came with a back with a Oh god, sorry. Side slam on his knee! Stick back to his feet. Tossing King in the corner. And a punch right to the face! But with that mask in the way, it's not really going to affect the monster. Suplex! Calling to the spirit like his brother once did before. And now being dragged to the ropes. What does Kane have in mind? Stand now, tossing Kane into the corner. And now Sting being backdropped over the top of Kane. Kane 
and out of line, close line, by Kane on Stan, one, two, no, not enough. And now Kane, seeing Stan, wrenching his neck back and forth. Calling the icon up, is it time? It is! Choke slam directly to hell! One, two, no, not enough! The man who falls to the Ravens walks with the Scorpions, Sting calling for his own maneuver, but Kane wisely rolling to the apron. Will he get knocked down under the floor below? King with the reversal! Now dragging! No! Sting and Troll Stone! Oh my god, Irish whip came into the corner. Er, back into the ring, I should say, and slam him chest first onto the mat. And now bending, twisting Kane's leg. Both forward and the direction it should not be going normally. And now Sting Irish whipped into the corner. Er, close line into the corner. My bad. Missing blows on each other. And now Kane. Pump handle. Full away slam. And now calling for one more time. Is this going to be enough? Kane. Er, yes. Sting in the choke slam. And being driven to the mat. One, two, three. That is it. Your former WWE. Next for you here tonight is a match between Ty Dillinger, Sean Spears, taking on Aiden English in a one on one contest. No. In other places, Sean Spencer. Yes, Sean Spencer. Sean Spears had left the WWE and went to Cody Rhodes' AEW promotion, similar to what Dean Ambrose did. In Aiden English's case, he just moved to the commentary table after a few bad angles didn't really go his way, which is unfortunate. This man is a decent athlete. athlete. Granted, he is no world title match contender. Unlike Ty Dillinger could prove to be one day. You know, me being driven into the back of Aiden English and the snap mare. Or the seated blockbuster, I'm not sure which exactly it would be. Anyway, Ty Dillinger heatedly calling Aiden English to get up, wanting him to get on his feet. Slamming back with the leg lock. And now, bending, twisting those arms backward with the bow and arrow stretch. The English getting back to his feet. What is this? English leaving the ring. Not wanting anything to do with Pat Ellinger. Continuing to say, peace out. I am not having any more of this here tonight. And he is actually going to the back. In in English is done in this match. The room is going to count to ten. Aiden, you have to get back to the ring if you want to continue. The heat 
just does not care. He is wandering, walking around at the entryway. He wants to stare down his Wait a minute, Tyne Hillinger! Tyne Hillinger is coming for in and in the second guessing himself. But well, why would he break up the count and not continue? He could have won right there. This is just kind of awkward between the two. Standing across from each other. Oh, so I'm getting bored. Calling a match. There is nothing more than these two staring one another down. Staring at each other. Not knowing what they're going to do. And now Ty Dillinger thinking about coming by an English once more. But, okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to call out my commentary here. And if if literally nothing, like you can keep scrolling by and things and fast forwarding and seeing if anything actually happens. If it doesn't, I apologize. I really hate when the universe mode glitches like that, but that is just how things are. So in worst case, I will just go to the next match if this happens one more time when Ty goes after him but slides back in. Because obviously Aiden English wants nothing to do with this matchup. Okay. Why not? Taking a look backstage, this is a developing situation. Edge had called out Shinsuke Nakamura earlier this week on social media involving the 24-7 championship. And it seemed that Shinsuke did not like what Edge had to say. So now he is here on Monday Night Raw, taking on the ultimate opportunist. Blows being exchanged back on fourth. Shinsuke with the boots to the knee. Blows back fourth. Shinsuke being tossed to the side. And now Edge with the two blacks right on the floor. And now Edge taking Shinsuke for a ride. Where is he going? Nakamura having none of it. And now Edge beating the 24-7 champion to the side. Tossing him away like the garbage he thinks he is. Edge has been in a majority of control of this matchup. Will this mean we will have a new 24-7 champion by the end of this match. Whichever one of these men cannot get to their feet sooner are going to be the ones who end up losing this con this contest. There's a referee back there, it looks like. Someone to actually keep watch. See what's going on. John Cena running off, not wanting anything to do with this all going on. But Renee Young, one of our interviewers and commentators, is still just standing there. You know, the referee not even want anything to do with this. Fall onto the face and execution by Edge. Shinsuke still able to stand, granted with the help of Edge, but still, they're now being tossed to the wayside. There goes for Spear! Spear by, Sh by Edge! But Shinsuke still able to get to his fate! Edge, Shinsuke exchanging moves. What does Edge have in mind? Dropping Shinsuke Nakamura right on that box. And going to the top of it. Calling him up. What's he gonna do? I didn't even see what he was going for there.
And now Shinsuke and Marshall control out of edge and they're up on the ground, missing a majority of his hit. Shinsuke keeping in control on edge, former WWE Champion. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure he's a Grand Slam Champion. Had ever, had ever won the United States Championship? Perhaps with the chair, taking Shinsuke down. And now Edge working on the knee, working on the leg of Shinsuke Nakamura. And now, no, Shinsuke reversing the suplex in the warm zone. Oh my god, the devastating off of the head flip! Shinsuke to the top now! Leaping right on top of the back of Edge's neck! Picking the man up! Only oh, get reversed! Oh wait, no photo of it! Day day time! These two men have se chosen this section of the hallway for their contest to end. And now, double axe handle from the top of the station equipment. Mashinsuke with the reverse STO! Close exchange! On drive by edge. Now Edge tossing Shinsuke to the wall. What is the ultimate opportunist to have in mind? Staring down a blocky Shinsuke. Headbutt! And once more into the box! Why do these two stare at each other so much? There are so many times in this game where people just stare at each other! And then it's kind of ridiculous! Honestly, I feel like I should play out more of these matches just for that reason. And now Edge reversed the Shinsuke's attempts at whatever was going on. And now Edge throwing Shinsuke Nakamura into Triple H's room. These two are having a stare down. WWE Champion just leaving the dressing room. His office. Letting Edge do whatever he wants to Shinsuke. That look Triple H gave was more of a bring the title home. Was that a version of the Kinshasa? The high knee. It doesn't matter. Edge is not. Oh, yet! And now being taken back outside the briefcase to the skull! And now to the back of Edge! Shinsuke brutalizing the former WWE Champion with that briefcase! Back to the outside of the hallway! And now to the top of the equipment box, calling your job. What does he have in mind? Now getting back down. For that flip maneuver. And Shinsuke did knock out Edge to retain the 24-7 championship.
Let's go to the next contest. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have this matchup between Rikishi and Mr. Perfect, a former Intercontinental Champion, a former multi time tag team champion, and a man who landed one of the best spots in the Armageddon Lunar Cell match many years back. Being tossed off the top into a track to buy the Undertaker. And now the big headbutt on the back of... Yes. Oh cool, so I can test this out before I leave it. Nice. And I went on the back of Mr. Perfect's... Yeah. Mac. And I missed the perfect with the reversal. No! Slapped aside. And I'm knocked down by Rikishi. Me being driven into the back. But again, Mr. Perfect says no. This time he has no choice. Picking up four soup locks. And also, it would seem I have something to test as soon as this match is over. So I guess we will have a commercial interruption. As in, I'm speeding things in half so you'll see a slight skip. And now Rikishi driving Mr. Perfect to the mat. Being tossed to the outside. The big man must have something in mind for Mr. Perfect right here. Slamming his face into the announcer's table. Burakishi dismantling our table. Random dogs barking in the background. And now Perfect back in, Rikishi back in, and now Rikishi with a back drop! Perfect set into the corner! No! Toss to the outside! And now back in! Rikishi has something in mind. What is the big man going to do? Picking him up. And dropping him down. Is that it? One. Two. No. The perfect defeat is not going to happen quite yet. Oh, caught the leg! And now dropping the big gun! What is Mr. Perfect doing? The chair is illegal during this contest! Now Rikishi back him up for the suplex! One, two, Mr. Perfect almost screwed himself. Flow it over. And now, Perfect. Splash! Big splash by Rikishi! One! Two! No! Oh 
Oh my god! Mr. Perfect! Mr. Perfect is now in control of this matchup! And... Float over! Snap man! Mr. Perfect is calling for it! And... Kenny! Perfect Plex! Both the kick out on one Marukichi! The big man! Needing to get to his feet! But... Cause Henning not wanting anything to do with that. Wanting to keep Rikishi grounded for as long as possible. But Rikishi getting back to his feet slowly. But the reversal with the neck breaker one more time. Rikishi to the outside. Tossin! Cut Henning! Into the table! What is he doing? Picking him up! And dropping his head! Right on our table! Busting it apart! And now we're Kishi taking the chair! Sliding into the ring while the ref starting to count, cut, heading out. Rikishi has all the momentum in the world right now. Mr. Perfect back in. He tossed the outside, but that obviously not what Rikishi wanted. Again, not what Rikishi wanted. And tossing Mr. Perfect. Is that it? One, two, no, not quite yet. Splash on the corner missing. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing like Arm drag. Hand fall to one. Two. Three. What the fuck? Whatever. That was a simple loss. Obviously, Rikisha could not get his ground somehow. I'm not sure what the hell just happened. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Perfect must have cheated in some form. Paid him off! Something! Just like Leo Rush did a couple of weeks back! My god, we have a lot of cheaters here in the WWE right now! These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. But in the end, we know Rikishi is the real winner of this contest! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Monday Night Raw after what my time was an extended time away for this, that, and the other reason. But right now we have Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, taking to Chris Jericho. As now, the two are ready to get things going. Moxley back in the ring, Jericho back in the ring. <laughs> These two clash at AEW's all out in reality 
apparently has been postponed because Moxley needed surgery. And if I sound a little weird, I do apologize. I was out the other night and my ears still are not popped. Sorry if I just fucked with that a little bit. I thought I'd make it a little bit better, but apparently not. Anyway, the arm drag from Moxley. And now, right on top of the knee. The boot. The boot of Jericho followed by the end of Gary. The jawbreaker. I want to get dropped right into the ropes. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He's still a and I'm just stepping on him, pressing down on Moxley. That obviously would not have been enough. And if it was, that would mock a former WWE champion. Now wrenching it on the neck. To just be disgusted by his behavior. Look, Chris John Moxley, one of the greatest superstars to ever walk in. The man's beaming with confidence but and conviction. And you know what? Getting his feet. Has every right to. Drink it in is right. Yeah, drink the Kool-Aid, Corey. And a bulldog from John Moxley. Giving him a piece of his mind. Jericho able to avoid damage. Beat him! Beat him! Now, down on Chris Jericho! Oh my goodness, crushing it! <laughs> oh, I'll mess up the neck. And now, Ambrose. Taking Jericho to the right, to the ropes. Will he drop him down and sling shot? Does Moxley think he has it? Calling Jericho up. And paradigm shift. Is it enough though? One, two, three. John Moxley picks up the win. Oh, a cursed Jericho! Yep. And right now, we're about to have Big Sexy Kevin Nash taking on the Nature Boy Rick Flair, taking down the seven footer and beating him down! Rick Flair did not want to wait for this match to start. But slammed right to the floor as soon as Nash got to his feet. And then dropped down into the ropes from a giant drop to a wall. Pressure being applied to the back of the neck simultaneously. And another devastating headbutt. Punishment right to the leg. Weakening Ric Flair's figure all leg lock. <laughs> what? Flair with those chops being exchanged by the two of them. And then dropped right on the knee of the seven footer. Big boot! And now calling for it. Is it already time? Play in position! For the jackknife! One! Two! No! Not quite yet, ladies and gentlemen! And the boot right to the back of Kevin Nash. Flag control. Chin lock applied.
wrenching. Grinding his neck to and fro. Oh, they're tossing aside. It is being boxed. The chops exchanged. A few punches right to the skull. You could likely go back to this moment as the turning point. And now he's been tossed to the outside. Flair flipping him back in. Now what does he have in mind? The 16-time world champion being swept off his feet to roll up. Big sexy one. No. Flair's trying to keep his distance, but that didn't work. The wingspan of the big man is too much. But wait, another big slap to get him in the Another boot right to the knee. Obviously, a tall man. Kevin Nash has had knee problems in the past, but now the single leg Boston Crab applied. But Rick Flair has rarely ever submitted. And now, into the corner, which was what Ric Flair probably attempted earlier. Bending, twisting that arm underneath the top rope. Was Ric Flair out of mind right here? Dropping out of Nash on his back. And here it is, the figure four leg clock in the corner. Will Kevin Nash tap out? Yes, yes he did. Big Sexy just tapped out to the Nature Boy. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, we have a main event of the no evening. Originally, this was supposed to be a rematch from two weeks ago, but I pulled an executive decision to replace Brock Lesnar in that matchup. Because honestly, I am sick of seeing Brock Lesnar from week in and week out. Though it is better than not seeing him compete week in and week out as far as reality goes, but right now we have a much better matchup, something that would have been a five-star match if it could have ever occurred. Eddie Guerrero taking on CM Punk. Guerrero being in control at the beginning of the match, but Punk slamming him down. And they're sent over the top rope. Guerrero joining him outside. The corkscrew ends it Gary. And won by Punk now. Spinning heel kick? I think that's what that whatever. Anyway, both men back in the ring right now. Guerrero with the European uppercut. And Punk with the reversal. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. I know it's early, but he has to do everything. Punk power just beating down on Eddie Guerrero. Slamming him down with that. Trust me when I say there's something like when Latino heat fires up. Backdrop, yes. You're talking about the best of the best. Form of inverted DDT backdrop. I don't know all the terminologies. I really should buy out since I've seen them a thousand times. But whatever. And now Punk being picked up by Eddie and dropped down on the top rope. Must be nice to be able to dial it up when you need to. Eddie Guerrero. Only the suplex one. It is Dos and. 
three amigos. Eddie going to the top bro. Do you feel a little Latino heat? One, two, no. Hulk kick out. So sudden, so soon, is that enough to make now? I didn't think that would be enough to make any top out, especially after landing the floor splash a few moments ago. But wait, I thought Punk was going to try to go for the GTS right there, but Eddie reversed it, going back up top, is he going to go for it one more time? He knows he's in trouble. No, instead, calling Punk out. What does he have in mind? Drop kick to the solar plexus. And now, Latino Heat building up, rising. And now, is it going to happen again? One. Three amigos! Eddie waving dirt on his feet, treating CM Punk the best in the world like he has nothing but garbage. But Punk getting to his feet slowly. Eddie not even connecting with that elbow drop. Punk with the Death Valley driver. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean well, obviously, the end. Eddie has more in mind after those reversals. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Once more, Eddie with the reversal! He's fighting back here. Being tossed aside by Punk. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. Sam Punk is going to try it one more time. Go, go for it one more time. This time it looks like he's going to, yes, GTS. Ben full. One, two, no. And he got a little kick out. And then Punk. <laughs> Picking out here, trying to gain his own head of steam here with the drop kick and another one and the neck breaker. And now Punk bringing Eddie to the corner. Slam him face first in the turnbuckle so and pick him up. What is he about to do? Punk, what are you doing? Zero blocks to Eddie Guerrero. The super blocks even to the outside of the ring. Oh wait, Punk was going to go for the GTS on the outside. Trying to knock Eddie's head into the barricade. But Eddie had none of it. Tossing Punk to the inside. Punk instantly to his feet. And now the two exchanging blows one more time. Punk swept off his feet. All being wrenched and slammed down in that very uncomfortable position. Drop kick to the corner. But apparently Eddie did not get all the northern lights. One, two, no. And now, Dragon Sleeper applied. But Punk is the real submission specialist here. 
He is not going to top out that easily. Well, that did read in the Anaconda Vice a little bit, I would imagine. He has him right where he wants him. I guess we will find out. Eddie being picked up. This is going to hit one more time, it is. GTS busting Guerrero open. One, two, no! Not quite yet. Both of these men have it. Two of them finish it. Well, that is a lie. Eddie tried to hit a second. These two men are going at it, fighting the toughest fight I have ever seen. This is what I was talking about, about being a five-star performance. Wait a minute, what is Eddie with the clue belief? Did that just punk topped out? Apparently he had suffered enough damage. That was an awesome win for this young man. What is this? What a battle. Respect to both competitors. Is Punk offering the handshake to Eddie? And Eddie accepted it. Sportsmanship between the two that I consider to be some of the best in the world. And Eddie Guerrero, the man, the myth, the legend. Rest in peace in reality. You live on here in infamy. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that will be enough for Monday Night Raw. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Ta-ta for now, and tune in for SmackDown Live.